as Tech Alliance, we uh, we are a global company, and we we want to be as local as possible. Uh, and that means that in an area where the spare parts business is really accelerating, and the independent aftermarket is is really trying to find its way into into that industry. It's key that we support all the players in the market and, and that we are local enough, understanding the local market requirements and therefore being very much present with a local organization here in Dubai and support the industry to grow beyond uh, where we are today. In Automechanic at Dubai, we have done uh, a sort of a complete assessment of who are we exhibiting, who are visiting and all those things. We found that there are 154 people to whom we need to connect. Out of that, about 80-90 people are must connect, balance are optional. And so, we have only two people, so we did a lot of planning to make sure that you know we spend the optimal time with each one of them. And uh, yesterday, our people have covered 40 people and they hope to cover the rest of them you know it's very difficult for any industry to get 154 like-minded interested people to come and then participate to that extent the auto mechanica dubai had been a wonderful uh, sort of a harvest for us in terms of lead generation in terms of you know popularizing our solutions putting india in the context of the uh, entire uh, global trade and india trade in fact, Frank was telling me yesterday while we were walking back to the hotel that this time he finds a lot of Indians coming and a lot of Indians are also having footfall on the Tech Alliance uh, booth. So that says, I think, in about uh, everything that we feel about it. Yeah, typically we, we operate throughout the value chain with uh, with our solutions. Uh, so we have products that uh, that are typically geared towards the product uh, manufacturers, the parts manufacturers, their product management teams. So the core of our business is the content, the content of what vehicles exist on the road uh, and how can you break those vehicles down so that you have an appropriate product management environment. Um, with that, with the content, we have a front end, uh, a PIM system, which allows the product managers to select the right part from their product portfolio and link it to the right vehicle. And the next step, of course, is you want to communicate it outside, where traditionally you had the paper catalogs, now we're all in a, in a digitalized environment. Um, so the next step is into the trade. Is how does the trade use the content of the parts manufacturers and how do they integrate it into general cataloging systems or specify front end order management solutions where they tie in the content to, to their own digital environment and tying in their customers in the workshops into, into their business model. Uh, we're, we're, we're not as strong as in other parts of the world today, but we're investing heavily. Well, like I mentioned before, we have a representative office here in Dubai. Um, we're hiring an MD for the region as per January 1. That means that we have uh, two uh, people on the ground in the region. And we have some support functions in our office in Cologne, in Germany as well, supporting the region to grow. Uh, when you look uh, beyond this region, we're investing uh, heavily in, in Africa as well. Uh, we started a representative office in uh, South Africa just this year. Um, and that should all tie together. I mean, the globalization is a fact. When you, when you look at the big market players, the parts manufacturers, they are global already by design. And when you look at the recent developments now in the trade part of the industry, uh, with the GPC, with an LKQ, you see that they're spreading their footprint and, and they're becoming global, GPC being pretty much global already. Uh, so, so you need to be there to support them in their needs in, in all the different parts of the world. Just to sort of you know, take stock of what we have done in the past, one is that we have completed the vehicle table for all the categories of vehicle. So we are ready from our point of view, from our side. Now, next uh, input that the auto ind um, parts industry want is the vehicle in operation, that's vehicle population data. We are there almost with two-wheeler parts, uh, I mean two-wheeler vehicle population data, 
passenger car population data and heavy duty for car population data and what we have done in the meantime is to build up a capability where not only at the national level but also at the granular provincial level city level we will be able to give this data all linked to our proprietary k type or n type so that's something which we have done we have also had very reasonable success in terms of 22 brands already put their product into our catalog of course uh, as an organization and for the kind of investments that we are making we want our performance or our results to be much much bigger much faster and due to covid and also because the indian industry is also booming in terms of the uh, original manufacturers as well as the uh, parts uh, the people are all more busy with their day-to-day -day, uh, results uh, what is going to happen by the end of the month how much do i bud i mean do against the budget so they have uh, uh, very limited time for thinking and taking steps for the long term and we hope one or another day they i think this uh, this sort of uh, exciting growth phase will halt and they will come to a sort of a median level or uh, and then they will be able to look at the long term so that's what uh, we are hoping for and uh, simultaneously we have also taken steps in terms of uh, reaching the outreaching the retailers users and then the uh, marketplaces in the e-com operators so all those terms are giving a sort of a customer pull in the sense that people say oh we want tech alliance are you in tech alliance that bus has already started happening and so we are, we hope that next two years it's going to be exciting for us not only for the tech doc as a catalog solution but also our other uh, solutions from our portfolio such as like what frank was mentioning as order manager web service web shops and then trade portals almost everything the entire uh, portfolio of tech alliance is something that we are able to sort of come and then give solutions in the indian market in addition we are now started linking up globally like you know there are some data which is relevant for india but available in mexico and available in chile brazil thailand so we have started some sort of a global initiatives with the result we'll be able to i mean that's the advantage of being in number of markets number of regions we have started harnessing it we are started uh, uh, leveraging that i'm so next two three years i think will be tech alliance will be the formidable force uh, in terms of uh, in india and also serving the indian exporters from india throughout the globe that's what my ambition is